Thanks for watching my first vegetable garden. Please subscribe and I will show you how to grow an entire vegetable garden in 2023. Today I want to talk about GMOs and seed packs. Number one, you will never find a genetically modified organism or GMO in a vegetable gardening seed pack. We'll talk more about that in a second. What is a GMO? It's an engineered plant that could not occur in nature. Basically, human being human beings take the genetic material from one unrelated plant and blast it into the DNA of another variety of plant. So it's like taking, for instance, um, grass genes and blasting it into a tomato plant. That can't happen in nature. So these are created, they're engineered. There are reasons to grow them, I suppose. You'll have to look that up. But what I wanna let you know is that you're not gonna find GMOs in your seed packs. And that's what I'm most concerned about. I don't wanna grow GMOs. I don't necessarily support GMOs. I just wanna get the information out to you. So why is that confusing? When you look on a pack of seeds, and again, if you wanna subscribe, I'll be go, be, yeah, I will be going over all the labeling on fertilizers, seed packs, and different things to help sort of clear up the mystery. So every seed pack nowadays has non-GMO stamped on there, and that's because one company started it. People then thought, well, if there's no stamp on there, then these seeds must be GMO because there's no non-GMO stamp on there. And then people started charging more money for putting a stamp on there when the seeds in a seed packet have never been GMO, they will never be GMO. I'll talk more about that first. Let me show you what the first, um, what 11 GMOs are right now that are out and about in the United States. They are cleared for us to eat, consume, and they're also cleared to be cultivated. So the FDA clears GMOs for consumption and cultivation. And from my understanding, these are, have all been cleared for us to consume in our food and also to grow in the United States in some capacity. You have soybeans, squash, corn, cotton, papaya, canola, alfalfa, sugar beets, potatoes, nine varieties, apples, and pink pineapple. And you can see that they started in 1995 went through 2017. This is not an exhausted list, an exhaustive list. I tried to find what I could, but it's a pretty good list. These show up in our food products. So you're not gonna go buy soybeans and be able to use soybean seeds and then you're gonna end up with GMOs. You're not gonna be able to buy a squash and then save the seeds and end up with a GMO squash. All this stuff is processed in some capacity, so you're never going to get the seeds, but you are eating these potentially in the food products that you know come into the United States. These are the main ones that are again cleared from my understanding to be consumed by people and also to be grown in the United States. All right, there's an, also another list of up and coming GMOs that have not been cleared for both. But before we get to that, now when you look at the different seed packs, you're gonna see non-GMO. Let's see if we can get that a little bit closer. Right there in green, non-GMO. You pick this one up non-GMO. This has nothing to do with the seed companies. They sort of had to do this because so many companies are putting non-GMO on the pack that when people didn't see it, they thought these had GMO seeds in there. GMO seeds will cost you thousands of dollars to buy, number one. You have to sign contracts and they're really just used for mass scale farming. You're not going to find them in these seed packs. So don't pay extra money because something says non-GMO on there, like this one. Oh, let's get it again, a little bit closer. Non-GMO, and don't think because the seed packet doesn't have that stamp that you have GMO seeds in there. It's a way for you to save money. And you really do have to learn, especially if you're a new gardener, what all these labels mean, because the commercialized garden industry sort of tries to rip us off. You know, they're not there to really help us out. They want us to spend our money. So then you have the next list of GMOs, genetically modified organisms. You have rice, plum, flax, sugarcane, tomatoes. It's rumored that there's 11 varieties now, but they're not out on the market. Wheat, bananas, melons, and chicory. Now, you might say not out on the market yet, in theory, but the FDA has cleared some of these for human consumption, but not cleared them to be cultivated in the United States. So you could grow rice in another country, it's cleared for us to consume it. The GMO rice comes in in a different food product from a different country. We may not even know we're eating it. There may be varieties of tomatoes that are coming in 
and we don't know that we're eating them and they're genetically modified. The problem is, is that the FDA really doesn't support clearly putting on our food packaging what is a GMO. And when we're importing food from different countries, we hardly know what's in that, sadly enough. I don't want to grow GMOs in my garden. I don't support GMOs, but I wanted to inform you so that you can save some money that you will never get a genetically modified organism in your seed pack. Please subscribe. And again, I will teach you how to grow an entire vegetable garden in 2023. And I will break down every step from starting seeds indoors to planting seeds outdoors, tending, dealing with pests and disease, harvesting, and even cooking. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.